بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبهم بالإحسان إلى يوم الدين وبعد Welcome again, I'm Omar Jamaiki and we've been covering the topic of Iman and those, man, those uh, things that can assist one in increasing of one's Iman and we have covered some of those affairs and in continuing in discussing and looking at certain other things that can aid ones in uh, Iman and belief being uh, increased and developed of those things that helps is good companionship the choosing of friends and associates companions that are good example those companions who uh, uh, encourage one in doing of good and f forbid others of evil so selecting and choosing of one's companion also this can affect one iman so one of the look to this aspect of his day-to-day -day life and be careful and cautious regarding the people whom one associate with as this can help to develop an individual or it can affect one in a negative way and as the prophet peace be upon him have taught us in the hadith where it says Al-Mar that an individual is upon the religion of his friend that a person is upon the religion of his friend so you should look carefully you should select carefully the one whom you choose as a friend and this friend is someone whom one associate with uh, uh, much one who you associate with all the time one whom you attracted to his ways his mannerism his way of speech the thing that he discusses the way how he practices religion so the person have to look to the character of that individual who one wishes to be one's friend as this can affect one negatively or positively and if we look at the prophet peace be upon him who were the persons that he associate with peace be upon him were they good people or bad people and the answer for certain is that the people whom he associated with were people who were known for their outstanding character people who were known for their sacrifice for Islam throughout their lives as Muslims and even people who were known for their outstanding character even before Islam who was the people that was most closest to him they were Abu Bakr al-Siddiq who was known for his outstanding character also Umar, Uthman, Ali his wives Aisha, Khadija these were the people whom the Prophet associated with and these were the people of the best of conduct the best of manners the people who practice the best Islam after the Prophet peace be upon him so in selecting and choosing one's companion one must be careful as this can affect one Iman so the person who wishes to increase one Iman to for one Iman to flourish and to grow one must choose companions who have good character companions also who practice Islam correctly who are sincere in their practice to Islam who are devoted to practicing of Islam because if one is not then one may fall into the state of having weak Iman and being dragged down by others and this is taught in a beautiful hadith of the Messenger of Allah where he had mentioned in this hadith we mentioned that the companionship good companionship and uh, bad companionship is the example of those who have chosen good uh, companion the one who associate with and the person who is with the person who sell sweet fragrance either you buy from him and you benefit from the sweet smell or he gives you the seller of this he offer you some as a gift so you benefit from this and you smell beautiful or that in the presence of the individual you can smell this beautiful smell so when you're around him the smell is always good 
So these are the examples of a good companion. Always offering something that which is, which is good. You're always gaining from him. Either bless your association with, in, uh, association with that person. Being close side by side with him. Or he offer you something, it's of benefit. Or you take something from him, it's of benefit. So this is the example of a person who was good companion. And this is the individual that the person looks, the Muslim looked towards. That companion will be of benefit. And the companionship of one who is evil and brings about no good is the one who associates with a person. He uh, is the iron. Uh, he works with iron. And the person who works with iron, who melts iron, that normally this environment, the smell is awful. And this environment, if you're there, it's always hot. And a person is sweaty, smelling uh, unpleasant. So the entire environment and that trade is also difficult. So the person who's in this environment, either his clothes garment will be burnt, the smell and the odor of that area is awful, so there is no benefit. There's more harm that comes to the person than what he receives in benefit. So the person has to measure and look carefully as to whom he choose as his friend. And as the Quran mentioned, mentioned it, that way, uh, uh, woe to myself, for I've taken Fulana Khalil, I've taken this individual as my friend. So the person is complaining on the day of judgment when he meets his Lord that his state of him being of the people to be punished is because he has chosen companions who were not good. They were not beneficial. So they misguide him. So they misguide him on the straight path and they took him to a path where he had gained the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Muslim have to be careful regarding the one whom one selects as one's friend. And as they say that birds of a feather, they flock together. So people who are of good nature, people who have good character, they normally associate with people who are like this. And people who are of evil intent, people who have bad character, people who are lazy, intending evil, they associate with people who are like this. So people who are of good nature are attracted to people of good nature and people who have bad and negative nature, they are attracted to people who are negative. So Islam, it encouraged a person having good companion. And some of the scholars of Islam, when they were asked by some students who were seeking to seek knowledge of Islam and to improve their iman and their, and their, uh, and their, mem uh, their memory, when they asked for advice for some of those ulama, they told them that the thing that assists you is keeping the company of good friends. So these are the things that assist the person, one's companion. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, the Quran, it encouraged this, that a person should choose carefully the one whom one associates with. And be with amongst those people who are known for their outstanding character. And also, second, good Islam, which is of the greatest of characters. So of the thing that increases one iman is the one, the person looking careful at those who he associates with, with. So with this, we come to the end of this another four program. And stay tuned to following programs. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.